Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Zhiyun Smooth 5 gimbal. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel to subscribe. If you're only looking for review videos, there'll be links in the description box below. I just got this uh, gimbal today and this is still uh, in the box. Uh, so I'm just going to you know, open it up and see what's inside. And then I'll do some testing and I'll, I'll attach it to the clip. So the box looks very simple. Uh, there's not much on it. it just mention the name which is right here. And then you can see that, you know, a smooth vibe. And uh, that's all there is. So it's uh, just like in a very simple packaging. So I'm just going to open up the box and see what we have inside. So it looks like we have a sticker or tape right here. So I just have to cut this here. So let me just get a little scissor. Okay, so I'm just going to open it up and looks like I actually opened it reverse way. So it should be like this. And once we open this, so we have a service card and this is just, you know, to contact Jiyun. And then we have a brochure. So it looks like they attached a actually nice brochure with all the instructions. So we'll just set it aside. And then here we have the gimbal. So I'm just going to, you know, take it out and put it in here. And then looks like we have USB-C cable. And then here we have the tripod or the mini tripod. And the box should be empty. As you can see, there's nothing inside. So here we have the gimbal. And this is how it looks like right out of the box. And I haven't done anything yet. So I'll just, you know, leave it here. And then once like, you know, I charge and go through everything, then I'll do the second part of the video. Thank you. And this is the second part of the video. And I'll just go over some of the, you know, things I found out about this gimbal and how to balance the gimbal. So the first thing I would like to show that uh, this gimbal has the capability to lock uh, every uh, mode and this come uh, this comes in very handy when you're traveling so it doesn't like you know dangle around in your bag so in order to do that uh, you're going to have to just here there's a lock button so what do you do you just match uh, these two and then if you just kind of slide it on the left then you can see that you know this part is locked and then here you have to lock this portion and in order to do that uh, you're going to kind of like you know match uh, this mark here with this and if you just kind of slide gently like this and you can hear the click and you can see that this is locked and now you have to lock this part and here you're going to see that there's this uh, you know uh, portion and this part so if you just kind of like match them together so let's see if I can see so if you match them together and kind of gently push and you're going to hear click button click sound so here now you can see that the gimbal is not moving anymore and this is very handy when you travel so I'm just going to unlock everything uh, one by one so here I'm just going to put it to the right and then you can see that this is moving right now and then I'm just going to put this portion uh, slide it to the uh, left uh, and then like this and you can see that you know it's moving right now and then here uh, this part I'm just going to uh, push it to this part here so I'm just going to push it to the left gently and it should you should hear a click noise and you can see that you know this is moving right now so now the gimbal is totally uh, unlocked and in order to balance the gimbal so you have to just you know take your phone um, you don't even need to cover uncover the uh, phone cover or uncover or remove the phone cover so what you have to do you have to just make sure the camera is going to be stay on this side uh, and there should be an arrow right here which is kind of very difficult to see but you can see that there's like a slight uh, small arrow 
right here and you're just going to kind of like you know uh, put it this way so if you just slide it here and now you're just going to have to you know uh, move this whole part for example uh, this portion right here so if you just you know unlock this position and then slide it to the left or right so once you put it in and if you slide it to the left or right that's going to uh, balance your gimbal uh, sorry i cannot see the whole thing because of the you know uh, there's a space problem but that's how basically it works so once you kind of like you know uh, move it to the let's say left or right and you have an idea that you know the gimbal is balanced then you can just like you know lock this button so now what you can do you can just turn it on and in order to do that you have to just press this button right here and you have to kind of hold it for a few seconds and I did that okay so now you see that you know the gimbal is on the phone and which is right here is and it's balanced and then here some of the buttons are uh, I'm planning to do another video um, in terms of the buttons because uh, you know today is just kind of review video so this is going to move your phone to the upper or lower part so if you can see here uh, but this button kind of you know it's glitchy it doesn't work all the way uh, so sometimes like you know it just gets stuck and you have to keep trying I had that problem so I think uh, that's not like you know very uh, reliable sometimes you have to just like you know keep doing it and then uh, these are actually for the app so I don't use that and I'm not going to go over them and there's the mode button so you have the pan follow mode which is the default and then if you keep pressing it then lock mode and then here we have the follow mode and then here we have the POV and then here we have the uh, ver ver I think it's a vortex mode so basically that's all the modes now there's a problem with the gimbal is that this like you know modes it's very difficult to see if you're out in the field or if you're shooting outside because of the lights so you kind of kind of like you know you have to hold it like this to see so this is a very bad designing of uh, this part and then here this is not going to work if you don't have the app uh, or if you're not kind of using the camera on the app which I don't want to use so I don't never use that now here this is something I like a lot about the gimbal that it has a quarter inch hole and what it does that you can just like you know put it in here and you can attach an external mic uh, for example like this uh, to you know here so you can attach an external mic and you can just like you know uh, push this here and that way you can have uh, a mic attached you don't need to use any cold shoe or any other like you know uh, extension bar so that's a very good feature of this gimbal which I like and except that it um, works very well uh, I have done a few videos and it you know stabilizes very well and even it's it works with GoPro Hero 10 and I have another video on that uh, so in terms of like you know uh, functionality it seems to be working okay but the thing is uh, that you know uh, lots of the buttons they're useless if you're not using uh, the camera uh, app and the camera like you know uh, recording via the camera app which I don't want because you know let's say if I'm doing live streaming I have my own application uh, I don't want their app I don't want to use their app and also like you know uh, I want to use my own camera native app which has stabilization so I don't like the fact that they're forcing you to like you know use their own app I try to use these buttons that's something I don't like and except that everything you know uh, is just fine uh, also uh, another thing I would like to mention that this is not exactly like you know very lightweight and it has a little bit weight but you know that actually works towards its advantage because it f feels very nice in your hand and it works very well so in terms of stabilization you know that actually kind of uh, it's good that you know it has a little weight to it and except uh, that uh, I don't have any other complaints you know except that I don't like uh, want to use the app and uh, all these buttons are you know useless or meaningless for me because uh, I'm not going to use their app but just one note that uh, for the first time you're going to have to install the app 
to activate the gimbal otherwise the gimbal is not going to work uh, this is something also I don't like they're forcing you to install that and I have a feeling that they're just trying to get you know the numbers up on the uh, Google Play or Apple Play Store just to get the download number that you know so many people are downloading the apps but this is just like you know not a good business model that they're forcing you to uh, install and download the app just to activate the gimbal but except that I'm happy with the product and uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review all my reviews are non-affiliated unbiased and honest and uh, I'm going to just you know attach a little bit sample clip how the gimbal works uh, when it's like you know very cold or very windy uh, and uh, you you're going to see that you know it it's performing well I just had one issue when the phone flipped uh, because of gusty wind uh, it had to be like 70 kilometer per hour but I worked with this gimbal when there's like 50 kilometer per hour and there's no problem so in general uh, you know this is a very uh, good uh, gimbal uh, except some of the you know uh, shortcomings of what I just mentioned so that's all for today thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so I'll see you shortly thank you so today is a very cold and windy day and this is a perfect timing to do a real life taste of the Zion Smooth 5 gimbal so you can see how much cold and wind it can withstand and how is the stabilization so wind is 50 km per hour and it's minus 20 degrees Celsius cold and so far it seems to be working okay and there are some you know sometimes the gusty winds and sometimes not too much wind but still it's a very windy so I'm having two wind maps and still you might hear some noise because of the wind but let's see how is the gimbal smoothness and how much you know balance it can do so by the so when I'm looking on the screen it looks like it's okay it's doing a nice job but I'm going to have to see you know when I go home how much really it stabilize the video so you're gonna walk for about 10 more minutes in this cold and windy condition so we're in downtown Toronto the corner of Spadina and Front Street So what happened there was a gust of wind and it just you know pushed the phone to rotate so it's just like in you know, a kind of phone was imbalanced so I had to just restart the gimbal so it seems to be okay but sometimes if the wind is too gusty you know it's just uh, the gimbal is not able to hold it